and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's episode, we're continuing our discussion about Rose Mount's 3408 non-contacting radar level transmitter. In this episode, we're gonna talk through the differences between pulsed non-contacting radar and FMCW non-contacting radar. If you remember in the last video, we talked about how we had a brief interlude using pulsed radars. We're gonna talk about why that came about and some of the differences between the technologies. So if we look at pulse radar, this is what many of us might be familiar with. It is a time of flight measurement. So as you can see picture beside me here, we have our non-contacting radar mounted at some sort of reference height, and then the product is a certain distance away. And as you can see, it is shoot, waiting, and then receiving uh, a reflection back off of that product surface. Okay, and so what we're doing here is we are looking at the speed that the microwave is traveling at. We know this is a fixed speed. So all we do is we time how long does it take for this microwave to travel all the way to touch the product and all the way back to the radar. Now, of course, because it's gotta go there and back, that total distance that we calculate God has to be divided by two. So above me here, you can see the velocity that the microwave is traveling at. Well, that multiplied by the total time divided by two is the distance. But of course, we don't want how far the product is away. We want relative to the tank size, right? Is it 50% full, 70% full, and so forth. So we subtract that from the height that the non-contacting radar is mounted at. And that's gonna be standard across all level transmitters. So that way we can reference it correctly. But this is what we are doing with a pulsed non-contacting radar. And if we look at an FMCW or frequency modulated continuous wave non-contacting radar, the differences are immediately clear. As you can see, it seems to be shooting and receiving waves at the same time. And that's exactly what it does. Instead of operating at a fixed frequency with a fixed speed, it slightly changes the frequency it operates uh, at called a fast sweep. Um, and what it does is it tracks the specific frequencies as they're emitted and as they are received. So that way it doesn't confuse anything. But now we actually look at something slightly different. Instead of measuring how long it takes, we look at something called the phase shift difference. Okay, so we look at the frequency as it's emitted versus when it's received. And we look at the distance between these two wavelengths and this phase shift it's directly proportional to how far the product is away. Okay, so we still have to now reference that same reference height in the vessel and subtract that away, but now it's not based off of a time of flight measurement. And hopefully by the illustration on the previous few slides, it's immediately clear why this technology is better because you're not sitting there, shoot, wait, receive, shoot, wait, receive. You're continuously shooting and continuously receiving. So you have more energy on the surface, meaning you have a stronger, more reliable measurement. Should you have any questions about our non-contacting radars or any other of our products, please reach out to us using the QR code on screen. Thanks everybody, have a great day.